Hi and welcome to another HUD King Real Virtual Tour where I take you through the home with a camera as if you're right there with me. If you're watching this on my webpage, click on the T to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button to be notified instantly of new uploaded virtual tours. Now on to the house. We are here at 2044 Canyon Vista. That's 2044 Canyon Vista over in Parkside. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, approximately 1,800 square feet, built in 1995. Exterior is a combination of a brick and some wood siding. And exterior wise looks in decent shape. Home sits on about a 5,000 square foot lot and is about $12,000 underneath the county appraisal. This is a small gated community off of Jones Maltzberger, just, uh, just north of Bitters. There is a little bit of foundation movement from this driveway here. You can see how it's pulled away from the garage a little bit. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard through a door off of the small dining area and it has a very nice covered patio in the back. Now this isn't a large lot, it's really like a small little not really a garden home because you don't have a zero lot line, but you don't have a very large lot in the backyard, which is nice if you don't want a big thing to maintain. Exterior-wise, it's in decent shape. It really just needs a little bit of, a few pieces of damaged siding. If you look around, around the window right here in this bottom piece, there is a piece of wood rot, so you may want to address that. But exterior-wise, it's actually in decent shape, and I like this wood patio. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step in, we are immediately into your living and dining combo. So it has a really high ceiling, which is nice. You have a staircase here, and to the right, we have your laundry room. So we're gonna go to the right. You have your indoor laundry room, your washer and dryer connections are here. I do like that the floor is ceramic tile. We then come into your two-car garage, and it's actually a good-sized two-car garage. You have kind of a step-down room for both of your cars here, a little workstation. And then you have this additional space right here for the water heater is and the trash cans are. Now if we look over on the corner here, you can see there's a line, there's a little bit of settling, so there's a, a minor bit of foundation movement. It doesn't feel really bad, but you probably want to have that inspected. So then we come over and we're back into your main, your living room and your dining room combo. It has ceramic tile, as I mentioned, which is very nice. You could definitely keep that. You have a fireplace. And if we look on the wall here, you can see that there is evidence of some foundation movement. Like I said, I don't think it's really bad, but you definitely want to have that inspected. So we have your dining room here. I really like how open and high the ceiling is. It makes, makes the room feel a lot larger. We then have a combined little breakfast area here, and this combines with your kitchen. Now I really like the wood shutters, uh, customized wood shutters. They're very nice in the kitchen. Good amount of countertop space, cabinet space. I like the birch wood color. It's just ni nice and clean. We come over through here and we have your half bath. So there's a single vanity and a commode. And then we have bedroom number one downstairs or your master bedroom. Master bedroom's in great condition. It has uh, wood floors, which look nice. We come over and we have your master bath. Now the master bath is kind of interesting. What they have is a big garden tub and a large separate shower. So you'll want to construct something there so the shower water doesn't come out and kind of splash everything. And then we come over and we have dual vanities. You want to uh, re reattach that mirror. That mirror is a little off. And then we have your master walk-in closet. So downstairs, this home is really in decent shape. The community is great. As I mentioned, it's about $12,000 underneath the county appraisal. Do you want to get that foundation inspected? It's probably the, the biggest thing that you'll have to invest in. Now we make our way upstairs. The Berber carpet's worn, so you probably want to replace that. When we get upstairs, we have a small upstairs living area, which is nice. Right to the right of that, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two also has those custom shutters. Needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Next to that, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three right above the garage is actually a really good sized bedroom. Needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then we have full bath number two, which is a standalone shower only, but it has a lot of ceramic tile. I think they did a nice job in there. That's about it. Let me give you a formal summary. Well, there it is, 2044 Canyon Vista. That's 2044 Canyon Vista, a very charming three bedroom, two and a half bath home in that small gated community. 
Best thing about this home, other than it being $12,000 underneath the county appraisal, is it's really not in that bad a shape. It is going to need a foundation inspection, but it really didn't seem like it was all that bad. And I love the layout. You have the master bedroom downstairs. You have that small living room upstairs. It's a small, quaint community. The home is listed right now for only $145,000. So if you're interested in it and you don't have a realtor, I'd love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I'm the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.